dynamic measure is really what we've been looking at and what we've been searching for for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. uh, basically what it is is when we, before we give fluid, we want to test the heart to see what's going to happen when it receives fluid. So it's, a dynamic measure is very simply, it's a small challenge to the heart and watching how the heart handles that response. Mm -hmm. Does it increase uh, stroke volume by more than 10%? If so, that is highly predicted that when you actually go ahead and give additional fluid that you'll get a sustained rise in cardiac output. If the stroke volume index does not change by more than 10%, it is highly unlikely mm. that when you give fluid, you'll actually see a sustained rise in cardiac output. So it's really a measure of whether or not fluid is going to be effective. One of the easiest ways is actually, um, and it demonstrates the physiology really, really well, uh, is doing what's called a passive leg raise. Okay. So if you actually uh, raise both lower extremities, you get about 250 to 300 cc's of blood in an average size adult quickly coming back to the heart. So when you do that maneuver and you get that 250 to 300 cc's of blood coming back, watching what the heart does with that mm -hmm. and whether or not it actually increases uh, cardiac output is, is uh, uh, one of the ways of executing a passive leg raise. You know, the dynamic approach, uh, again, I think is the physiologic approach we've been striving for for a long time. We've been looking for it. And really only with the advent of these technologies at the bedside can you now get there. And sure. that's very exciting. Um, some of the earlier endorsements, uh, NICE in the UK mm -hmm. uh, endorsed this in surgery back in 2010, uh, approach of using dynamic measures to guide fluid responsiveness. Uh, the European uh, uh, critical care societies began to endorse this mm -hmm. uh, shortly thereafter in 2011, 2012. Uh, here in the U.S., CMS has adopted it, uh, endorsed it in their sepsis measures, uh, and of course the Surviving Sepsis uh, campaign also endorses the use of dynamic measures and this physiologic approach to guide your fluid management.